The Department of Geosciences at Penn State is internationally recognized uh, for its collaborative research at the interfaces of Earth spheres and also uh, the disciplines that contribute to the geosciences. We are deep and broad. If it's in the geosciences, we're doing it and we appreciate the different pieces. We've built a department here that uh, brings in the life sciences, brings in the planetary sciences, brings in chemistry. So we've hired faculty members who have their fundamental training in these other disciplines but are um, interested in problems in the earth sciences. Because Penn State is a place to learn about stuff that really does matter. I think what, what sets us apart is that we have all the benefits of being at a large research-oriented university, but a small department where uh, there's a more intimate feel where we get to know all of our students well and we work together as a team. Active learning is an approach to learning, to education, in which students do the real thing. It's authentic learning. The whole purpose of active learning is to have students do what we really do in our field. One of the things we've done to implement active learning is to develop a new classroom that actually enhances what the students can do. What makes this space different from the normal classroom is its flexibility and its open space. And the whole point of it is for students to have as much flexibility to interact, to collaborate, to work together the same way they will in the real world. A lot of stuff we do involves big drawings and long equations and it's nice to be able to just expand around the room. The professors have different methods and ways that they can actually teach the students and get them involved with the class itself. We've got a group of faculty and students, researchers who are uh, focused on societally relevant problems of climate change, biodiversity loss, natural hazards, and we think that we have the personnel here, the facilities, that we can really pursue some cutting-edge research in societally relevant areas and that will sustain us well into the future. I'm an aqueous geochemist. And that process of hydrofracking has created some concern among people in Pennsylvania. And so one of the things I'm interested in is looking at whether drinking water does get contaminated during any of the parts of the shale gas industry process, and if so, what causes it and how we might ameliorate it. We've got a nice group of ice climate people. What do we do? We're worried about the history of climate written in the ice cores. We're worried about will the ice sheets fall in the ocean and flood the coasts? And we're world leaders in doing this. We've had the fun of taking students to the ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica. I'm a sedimentary geologist or stratigrapher. One of the important tools that we use for quantitative stratigraphy is a terrestrial LIDAR scanner. LIDAR is a laser scanning device that helps us make virtual outcrop images that then we can pull those images back to the lab with us, look at them on a computer, and make quantitative measurements and make more sophisticated analyses than we can just do with a Jacob staff and tape measure in the field. This field research experience will help me if I want to get a job either with oil and gas or in academia because for oil and gas it has a lot of implications for oil extraction and in academia um, just doing this kind of research and really being on the cutting edge of sedimentary research is going to be great for my applications. In a field like geology, field work is definitely really important. So with an interest in the oil and gas industry, work like this can definitely make yourself more marketable. The students are engaged in the field here because the real world is in the field. The future geosciences at Penn State, I think, are really bright. The need for valuable things from the earth has never been greater. We work with our students so that they understand that it's not just about exploiting natural gas and oil reserves, but to do so in an environmentally conscious way that is mindful of the risks associated with, with doing so. We are pushing the frontiers on teaching, we're pushing the frontiers on research, bringing in new instruments, bringing in new techniques and ways, and covering the whole field. And I just can't see a brighter place or a brighter future than what we have right now.